Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Dennis Mayer from Concierge Catering. And, you know, we're doing this big wedding theme, so we want to talk specifically about wedding catering. But just as an FYI, that's not everything that Concierge Catering does. Oh, no. <laughs> so you guys do catering of all kinds. Yes, we do. But specifically today, what are some things that brides need to, and brides and people planning need to keep in mind for catering a wedding? First of all, you need to sit down with the caterer and you need to discuss what you would like to have. That's first and foremost. And then you build on, on, on that thought, mm -hmm. okay? What you would like to have may not necessarily be possible, so you have to have, you know, you have to go to plan B. Of course. And a good caterer has a plan B. And we have a, a jillion plan Bs. Okay. okay. Okay? You can't always get what you want. But we strive to get as close to that as possible. We want to work within the budgetary guidelines that you have. Very important. And, and, uh, yeah, it's, in other words, I, I'm not going to tell you, well, it's really nice that you've got $3,000 for your wedding, but it's really going to cost you seven. Uh, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's work with what we have. Exactly. And let's give you what you need and as much as you need. And, and that's, that's the way we do it. I mean, everything we do is customized. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing, nothing comes out of a box, you know. It's, yeah. It's all, it's all done for real. And so, I mean, the food is going to be really good. Do you have a favorite thing to make for weddings? No. No? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, and, and I'll tell you why. Because everybody is, they're so different, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, you've got people who like fowl. You've got people who like beef. You've got people, you know, who like different types of foods. Mm -hmm. You've got, we've done Italian weddings, Italian themed, oh, you know, it was all oh, Italian. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've done game, you know, wild bird dinners uh, on a plantation. We had a wedding at a plantation, and it was all duck and quail, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was really cool. What's the most unusual or rare thing you've made? Ostrich. Ostrich. Yes. Now, what do you do? They come to from Florida. <laughs> they're grown in Florida. Okay. And what do you do with that? Well, we have a saying: if you can kill it, we can cook it. <laughs> okay. And so. Watch out. Um, I have some very large rotisserie grills. Very large. You, you guys have seen them. And we basically uh, injected the bird, which was a forty-pound breast. Oh my so to think about a chicken, mm -hmm. a chicken breast. Right. All right, now think of the same breast but 40 pounds. Okay, that's, that's what this crazy. thing was. I know, it's, it's nuts. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. And we, we injected this thing, and then we laid bacon over the top of it, and then we put it on the rotisserie for about seven hours. And wow. we sliced it, and it was, it was interesting. That's all I can say. I bet so. I bet it was. Okay? But that's what they wanted. Yeah, and I don't know what they paid for the bird. I I'll never know. Um, That's wild. We have to, uh, and, and the reason why I say they come from Florida, and, I, and I'm not necessarily you know, doing a commercial here, but everything that a licensed caterer or restaurant buys has to come from a FDA-approved source. Okay. We're going to talk about this when we come right, right back. Good. So okay. stick around to hear more about uh, some differences between different caterers and uh, something special about concierge catering. We're going to be back. But uh, first, Chris, who you got over there? Thanks, Melanie. Well, now we're talking about food, and we're here with Dennis Mayer from Concierge Catering. And when we left off, we were kind of talking about some things that you need to be aware of when you're kind of dealing with the catering industry. So explain uh, why it's important to have a license, a licensed caterer. Well, number one, uh, you don't want to buy food for two or three or 400 people from somebody who has not been inspected, who doesn't have a license, who probably doesn't have insurance. And, and so on and so on and so on. So what I want to just tell you is be aware, be careful, and be aware, okay? Now, why do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the, the, the real deal. You have all of the liability. So if something happens at your reception, it's on you, and you don't want that. Okay. Okay? You must have something between you and the liability, and that is a licensed, inspected, et cetera, et cetera, 
food facility. Okay, so some good things to be aware yeah, of. Just, People just, might be kind of not telling you some things that you need to know, but you guys do tasting appointments so people can kind of see what you have to offer we have a different way of doing this we get we get the the, the bride and the mother and the, the husband and the whoever and we bring them in and we talked about the budget thing before and we get all that out of the way and then we have a second appointment where we actually cook some food mm -hmm. because I want you to make sure that that's what you want mm -hmm. for your guests so I have a two-stage process I don't have a one-stage process okay and uh, Half the time, it really isn't what you thought it was, and we have to go to one for again, Plan B. So I'm, I'm, we're more than willing to help, you know, in any way that we can. So before the tasting consultation, do they kind of give you an idea of what they're looking for, so you're not just pulling from thin air? I don't. I do not talk. I let them talk. Okay. I don't. You, you don't care what I want you to have. Mm -hmm. I want you to care what you want you to have, and you tell us. And then we go from there. Okay. Okay. Well, if you'd like to talk with Dennis Mayer himself, there's a bridal show coming up. Will you tell us about it? On Sunday at Chihaw Park at 2 o'clock at the Educational Building, um, I believe it's Chica's Bridal, is mm -hmm. putting on their third or fourth bridal show. Uh, I've been in all of them. And um, you need to come out. You know, it costs you, I think, two or three bucks at the door to get in. Doors open at 2 o'clock. We'll all be there. A lot of vendors will be there. I'll be there with some food. Hey. There you go. And uh, you're more than welcome. So, you know, please come out and see us. What are some things that you'll be talking to brides about at this bridal show? No business. Okay. Okay. We're only going to set appointments for people to come in and see us. Okay. All right. A bridal show when you've got your floor. Daryl will be there. Uh, you've got your florists and you've got your dress people and you've got your music guy and, you know, all these folks. That is not the time to talk about business, okay? It's the time to set appointments with the people that you want to see. Okay. So some good tips there if you guys are out looking around. Come see us. Now, what time is the bridal show? Well, it starts at 2, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. now, I'll be there at 1 because our food is, all, is hot and fresh. And we'll be having some nice little samples of things, so you may want to come out. It'll be, it'll be nice. All right. Well, you guys make sure to look up Concierge Catering. You can find them on Facebook. And again, Dennis Mayer, we appreciate you coming oh, here this morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're going to be back with more Good Day. Stick around.